What up guys, uh, DJ Dobes here. I'm here to do a quick scratch tutorial. Um, I've been getting some questions on phrasing and stuff like that. Uh, not only the vocal cuts, but uh, I've started to do a lot more like funky D styles cuts. So uh, I decided to do a quick tutorial on how I feel this style is. Um, I'm obviously not trying to bite D styles at all because he's an incredible scratcher, but this is just my attempt at what he does. Uh, currently I'm using his scratch record, a heavy petting bricks, which is using an it and a fresh. Um, using his beat off the sector looper. Um, this is a classic. So uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. Uh, the two samples I'm using are going to be an it's and a fresh. Uh, the turntable is only tuned down uh, 8% uh, because I figured uh, the other tutorial that I did was for ultra pitch turntables, so this one you can do on 1200. So I wanted to appeal to everyone. Anyway. So let's get started. Uh, D Styles, he incorporates lots of chirps in his patterns, uh, but the big deal with his chirps is that he manipulates the record speed, so they're not always like... He does a lot of like... styles with the phrases you're going to want to be able to have really good record control in order to pitch the record up and down which gives him his, his distinct like really funky style did some like just, you know chirps. I do uh, this tear combo where I open the fader and move the record forward and then I pop it back twice. And then uh, I found this one scratch that he does. Um, it's like a boomerang scratch. Like this is a boomerang scratch. that if you do the same record motion but you do uh, two transforms like you're doing a two click uh, trans just transform you're not doing the flare you're not leaving it open you're just popping the fader you get this sound you get that skipping sound and I noticed that he, he, he has that skipping sound and so his scratch combos so I really like that be able to do like you know backward stuff to manipulate the flow a little bit one scratch that gets overlooked a lot is just a chirp uh, chirp tear or not the chirp tear I'm sorry the chirp one click flare the chirp flare Want to be able to uh, do like boards like that really easily. Um, and also, you want to be able to do drags really well, like this. I like to end a phrase with my record hand moving it slowly. I can say for like the it stuff, uh, I'll apply these combos to a fresh. You can probably tell it better, or it'd probably be easier to tell uh, exactly what combos I'm doing. So. Oh, it's 
I'll skip this. You also don't want to sleep on transforms, I mean, they're, they're a good scratch, uh, not many people remember to use them. style scratch combos. I mean, those combos that I went at the beginning, um, the it's, I mean, those are pretty much the ones that I can tell mainly. Obviously, he's doing a lot more stuff because he's scratching right-handed, um, so he's doing a lot more record stuff than what I'm able to do. But in terms of fader control, I mean, that's, that's what I pretty much gathered from watching his freestyles and his cuts. all I can say for this tutorial. I mean, if you guys want uh, more help, uh, just leave a comment uh, below and I can help you out specifically with the time. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you.